tonight, President Trump returns home to a firestorm of controversy not long after his unprecedented summit with Vladimir Putin in Finland. It's been quite a day, to say the least. First, a closed-door meeting in Helsinki, then a line of open questions with the 2016 election, topic number one. Mr. Trump had a chance to reject Russia's denial that it interfered. Instead, he did the opposite, essentially throwing his own intelligence community right under the bus. Getting along with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. After meeting one-on-one -on -one with Vladimir Putin for more than two hours and receiving a World Cup soccer ball, President Trump showed he is staunchly on Team Putin. That will go to my son Baron. We have no question. In fact, Melania, here you go. Mr. Trump sided with the Russian president over U.S. intelligence agencies on Russian interference in our election. So I have great confidence in my intelligence people, but... Uh, I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. All 17 U.S. intelligence agencies concluded the Russian government did direct cyber attacks on members of the Democratic Party. That view is also shared by bipartisan committees in the House and Senate and the president's own director of national intelligence, Dan Coats. All I can do is ask the question. My People came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others. They said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. The New York Daily News called that thinking open treason, a cartoon on its front page showing Mr. Trump shooting Uncle Sam. Just last Friday, a grand jury indicted 12 Russian intelligence officers for hacking, fraud, and conspiracy in the 2016 political cyber attacks. Still, Mr. Trump suggested Russia's intelligence services could assist U.S. investigators. He offered to have the people working on the case come and work with their investigators with respect to the 12 people. I think that's an incredible offer. At one point, Putin was asked if he wanted Trump to win the election. President Putin, did you want President Trump to win the election, and did you direct any of your officials to help him do that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because he talked about bringing the U.S.-Russia relationship back to normal. Well, in a tweet sent right after the summit, President Trump wrote that when it comes to Russia, quote, to build a brighter future, we cannot exclusively focus on the past.